friends, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about habits. With the new years here, a lot of us are setting resolutions, trying to better ourselves, and a lot of this has to do with breaking bad habits. Now, to first understand habits, I think we need to note that not all habits are bad. Some habits are actually really good. Take, for example, driving to the grocery store. You don't need to actively think about what turn you're gonna take next because this drive has become habit. You've done it so many times. Habits are essentially shortcuts in our brain that allow us to conserve energy for more important tasks, like deciding what Netflix documentary we're gonna watch or what caption we're gonna put on our next Instagram photo. Now habits form when a behavior is repeated over and over again and this allows your brain to go on autopilot for this task and that autopilot nature of a habit can be broken down into three parts. The cue, the routine, and the benefit. In order to break your habit, you need to identify each of these three parts of your bad habit. Okay, let's start with the first part, which is the cue. The cue is essentially the trigger to your bad habit. For example, I had a bad habit of eating unhealthy food when I was too busy to make a proper meal. Um, yeah, can I have a number five? Listen, I have a job, I have this YouTube channel, I run a blog and a business, and I'm a wife and a mom to a newborn. Time is not something I have a lot of. So obviously my cue for this was hunger, but for this specific habit, this bad habit, the cue was hunger when I didn't have enough time to get something healthy. The other two parts of the habit are the routine and the benefit. Now the routine is essentially the act of the habit. In my case, it's eating fast food that's unhealthy. And the benefit is whatever reward you get. In my case, it's feeling full and feeling full quickly. So let's talk about how we can use these three parts of a habit in order to break out of it. Essentially, there's two ways to do this. You can either avoid your cue or your trigger, or you can replace your routine. Let's start with the bad habit of eating unhealthy when I was hungry but lacked time. My cue was obviously hunger while busy. Gee, I'm hungry, but I don't have enough time to cook something healthy. The routine was eating fast, unhealthy food. Thank you, you too. And the benefit was feeling full quickly. So first I need to identify, can I eliminate the cue, which in this case is hunger? Not really, I need to eat. So in this case, I need to replace the routine, which is eating fast, unhealthy food because it's convenient. So the solution here for me is to find healthy foods that are just as fast and just as convenient. And for me, I discovered something called Splendid Spoon, which in full disclosure has sponsored today's video. So Splendid Spoon is a meal delivery service that's designed to help you eat healthy during your hardest times, typically breakfast and lunch during the work week hustle. You get two meals every single day, a smoothie and a uh, soup, and they are all fresh, plant-based, gluten-free, insanely delicious, and most importantly, require no prep work, no extra ingredients. You can literally just grab and go. It is that easy, and that was key for me. In order to break out of my routine, I needed something that offered the same benefit of filling me up with the least amount of time and effort. My Splendid Spoon arrives once a week, and I have simple, easy to eat things right in my fridge. I can grab them, there is no prep work. Not only are these insanely delicious, but they leave you feeling full and fulfilled, which is exactly the benefit that I needed to get out of my bad habit. I need to be full, I need to be fulfilled. These are not like wimpy little meal replacements that are going to leave you feeling hungry again in 45 minutes. So that's why they were the perfect replacement to my routine because I get that same benefit, but I'm eating way better, I'm getting way more nutrients, and it is so much healthier for me. Okay, so for my first habit, I was able to break it by replacing the routine. I replaced eating fast, unhealthy, food that made me full with fast, mega healthy food that was nutrient packed that also made me feel full. So let's look at another example of a bad habit. Okay, so another bad habit I had was being lazy and unproductive after dinner. And the cue for this was obviously sitting down on my sofa and turning on TV while I ate dinner. And the routine became sort of mindlessly scrolling through my Instagram and social media. And the benefit, I guess, was that it was really relaxing after a long day. I realized, however, with this habit that I could probably break it by looking instead at the trigger. Being able to identify triggers to our habits very often can help us eliminate them by avoiding the triggers altogether. Now in the first habit, I couldn't avoid the trigger because obviously we all get hungry and we need to eat. But in this case, I could avoid the trigger in order to break the habit. 
So I shifted my meal time to the table and by removing the trigger of being stuck on the sofa in front of a screen, I realized I could eliminate the routine of mindlessly scrolling through my phone. And when I was finished eating, I was more likely to get up, do some work, finish some tasks around the house I wanted to do and basically just be more productive. By simply removing the trigger, I was able to completely eliminate the bad habit. So to recap, all of your habits, whether they're good or bad, are made of a cue, a routine, and a benefit. And in order to break out of your bad habits, you either need to avoid the cue or replace the routine. Again, I wanna thank Splendid Spoon for sponsoring today's video. There's a link in the description box down below that is special for Butt First Coffee subscribers that is going to get you $50 off your first order at Splendid Spoon. I will link that down below so that you can check it out. You are going to love it. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Also, I wanna let you guys know that yes, I did buy a fast food meal just for the sake of this video, but I wanna let you know, I literally took one bite of that meal for the sake of the thumbnail picture for this video, and I didn't eat the rest because I much preferred coming home and having my Splendid Spoon soup. Like, that is how delicious these soups are. I didn't even wanna eat it. I was like, forget this. I'm not gonna get full on this when I can go home and have a delicious Splendid Spoon soup. So, they seriously are some of the most delicious soups. Like, yesterday, I had coconut curry carrot soup. It was so delicious. Not to mention that I absolutely love how simple and easy it is as the mom of a newborn. I have no time to cook in the morning and lots of times for lunch. So it's honestly been huge for me. It's helped me get my eating back on track for the new year and post baby. I feel better, I feel more full, I feel full of good food. I don't find myself hungry every 45 minutes because the food really fills me up. I highly suggest you guys try it out. Like I said, there is a link down below for you to check it out. Get that $50 off your first order, give it a try, and then DM me on Instagram and let me know what you think.